you have some debt that you're trying to pay off? Maybe you do. A lot of us do. Join the club, right? Well, we have some good news for you. There are ways to pay off the debt while still being able to enjoy your life. And the key is having a plan. Joining us this morning is financial journalist Nicole Lappin. The plan is all in her new book. It's called, well, which B word, I guess. A simple 12-step plan for getting your financial life together. And she's joining us this morning with these 10 steps to crack and pulverize your debt. That's right. You have to come up with a plan to prioritize to pulverize. All right. Before we talk about the plan, I got to ask about the title, right? Because I've read a lot of financial books in my time, and I, n none of them no named as interesting like, yeah, yeah, it's sassy. It is sassy. It has confidence and it has attitude. And we just hit the New York Times bestseller list. Oh, congratulations. So a lot of young women are really giving us great positive feedback that it's the first finance book that has no jargon whatsoever and love also it. swears a little. Uh, it's just a little bit. I love it. All right. Uh, let's get into the actual tips here. Ten steps. So the first tip you have for us, ten first step, prioritize. That's right. And look at your highest interest rate first because it feels really great to just get rid of one loan altogether. Yes. But you really have to look at the interest rate, and most often that's going to be your credit card. Okay. So tackle that first. And then you say to set a schedule. So you say, all right, so this card has the highest rate, so what's next? That's right. And you should come up with a realistic schedule. In the news business, we love deadlines, right? So come up with something realistic, but not too comfy. Paying off debt is not a comfy thing. Mm. And the longer you wait, the more debt you're going to have to pay off. So also look at automatic payments. So taking it out of your bank account or Before salary. Before you see it? But because oh, it doesn't no. feel as bad that way. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, and also, you say you should try and get the rates down, which is a really good tip for people that have a lot of debt with higher interest rates. Oh my gosh, Corey, do you negotiate your APR and your credit card? Got to. You have to. Got to. Everything is negotiable. Your medical bet bills, your credit card uh, rates, everything, all your utility bills, you should really ask for a lower rate. Most companies will throw you a bone versus losing you as a customer. And you're a fan of consolidation. Depends. If you're ready to really pay off your debt, get your debt monkey off your back, you can look into a balance transfer, which is basically taking all of your balances and putting it into a lower balance. But you have to be ready to pay this off because normally it skyrockets after one year. Yikes. All right. And you say you've got to be realistic. You talk about having a plan, but you say methodical, but also realistic. Realistic, absolutely. When I got myself into $5,000 of credit card debt, I broke it down by day. It came down to $7 a day, which in New York City is less than half a glass of wine. So when I, when I looked at it that way, it didn't feel as bad. All right. Well, we have more of these uh, tips because there are 10 tips to pulverize your debt. Yeah. We have more of them on our website right now. By the way, Rich B, it's available now. It's on the uh, bestsellers list, too. And, uh, again, pix11.com for more of those tips.